Oh my goodness. This morning I'm watching this thing, the Midas Touch, and he's playing these videos by 45. 45 is just embracing Kim Jong-un and I was so close to him. I was so close and I'm the only one that, that recognizes China and I got from China. <laughs> got from China this money and then he's saying you know that everyone should have to take a mental competency test and I would do even better this time than I did last time what he was able to recognize some animals I, I, I just you know you watch that one you know and and he was bragging on it because he recognized animals. He could remember three words a little later down the way. And so he's just, you know, wow, I did so great. They were so surprised at how fabulous I did. <laughs> what a loon. This guy is nuts. So he's talking about his good friend, Kim Jong-un, you know, and Pudi. You know, I'm so close to them. They really like me. Yeah, because you can be manipulated because you're an idiot. <laughs> you know, the dictators love me and I love them in return because they love me. No, they only were happy with what you could do for them. And now that you're no longer in power, just see how happy they are to have you around. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, try it, try it. So, yeah, 45 is on his soapbox again, as always, because he's absolutely freaking out because he's going to go down. And he thinks the only way he can save himself is to, what, get elected again. And he's trying to put off his court cases now to 2024 so he can say, well, I'm running for office of the president. You can't do anything to me now. That's political if you do anything to me now because I'm a candidate. Oh, my Lord. Well, maybe this stuff has worked for him in the past, but now they're on to him. And the courts are saying, we're not having any more of this nonsense. Okay? You've been a snake. Okay? You found out how to abuse the court system. Okay? But no more. No more. That shtick is not going to work anymore, okay? So um, they're going to have to, uh, again, they're looking at him, and he's tried to push these court cases back again, and they've tried every maneuver that they can do. We just don't have time. We need more people to go through these documents. Uh, yeah, no, uh-uh. You've had time. You just didn't do it because you want to put, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> the case is going forward. <laughs> so, yeah, he's he's wigging out on his live central. He keeps putting out video after video after video, spin after spin after spin. I'm the only one that can save America. We're on the verge of World War III, and only I can go out there and talk to these people. And only I, well, only you. How many people got killed with COVID because of you, okay? Why are the people in Ohio now having to deal with toxic waste because you rolled back things? Why did this bank go under? Because again, you rolled back these place, things that were in place to stop this, okay? So yeah, you want somebody that's in there to destroy America? Get 45 in again, because he's right up there with Bannon. Bannon's an anarchist, anarchist. He just wants to dismantle America, okay? So that they can have dark ones like come in like Putin. How many people are on the repugly ugly side are Putin under Putin's puppets, okay? Putin's puppets. They jump to his tune. You continue to see them put out Putin's talking points. They do whatever they can to destroy America. 
Now what is it? They're on this gay thing, the transgender thing. Oh my God, they're having drag shows. Oh, the world's coming to an end. Of course, they ignore anything to do with guns. They're trying to make women be barefoot and pregnant. No abortions, okay? <coughs> so they're doing everything they can to segue away from real issues and trying to become a, what is it, so-called Christian, okay? The dark evil angel church of so-called Christianity. And they're taking their pattern from being the Taliban. They want to become the religious right, okay? The Taliban of America because they want to be white Christian nationalists. There's nothing nationalistic about Christianity. Absolutely nothing. Okay? Christ was not a nationalist. He was not for the Jews only. Okay? Because Christ was a Jew. Hello? For those in the, you know, white Christian nationalists that have no idea who Yeshua ben Joseph was. Yes, that was his name, Yeshua ben Joseph. Okay? It was not Jesus. Okay? <laughs> but I know you love to say, Jesus, Jesus told me. <laughs> and Bodhi is the chosen one. <laughs> uh, yeah, on what planet? not chosen by Yeshua ben Joseph, I can tell you that. Yeah, 45's batting for the other side. Why? He's a liar. He's a thief. He's a con man, a rapist. Okay? Those things all are not under the purview of Yeshua ben Joseph. They're under the purview of what? Satan. Satan. Okay? The prince of lies, father of lies. Okay? And so that's who you're putting on your great pedestal, okay? Might want to think about that, okay? Might want to go back and actually read the Bible rather than wanting to go back to the Old Testament and pull things out of context, okay? And that's one thing that really, they love to pull something out of context and put it out there. And then you have to read the whole of the thing, the whole. You have to take it all. You can't just take a little part of it and ignore the rest. Okay? But, you know, the part that has Yeshua ben Joseph in it, they don't want anything to do. They want the letter of the law. We want the stuff, the restrictions, the hatred, the, the drama. Well, okay, you can have it if you want. But if that's what you want to be judging others by, that's what you will be judged by. And it's not just going to be that one little excerpted part and ignore the rest. If you want the letter of the law, then you have the whole enchilada, okay? So by that which you are judging others, that is the way you will be judged, okay? So if that's what you want to put into place for others, under your hatred dynamic, then guess what? That's the measure that it will be meted out to you, and that's exactly what it says. That which you measure out to others is what is going to be meted out to you, okay? So now, what are they trying to do in so many of these states? Now they're bringing back child brides, they're getting rid of the child protection laws, okay? They're doing everything they can to rig the system in a de deeply disturbing way, okay? So anyway, that's it for my soapbox this morning, and I'll see you online. Oh, my goodness. So good to have everyone here. And uh, again, I hope you are having a wonderful, blessed day today. And, you know, what's my pronoun? Love. Okay? Love, acceptance. Love and acceptance. 
okay? Now, if their pronoun wants to be hatred and drama, be my guest. Enjoy that. But I prefer love, acceptance, and higher, higher values, higher things. Genuine morality versus their um, faux drama that they continue to want to put out and lies and smears and uh, just made up, fabricated the deepest, darkest things they can think of, sexualized, they want to put out there. And it's just right up there with the rest of the Q craziness. It's not happening, except in their delusional minds of alternative realities. Because in the reality, in the space I live in, I'm not seeing any of that stuff taking place, okay? So on that note, I'm leaving this here. Mei Mei, are you digging your way to China? You going back home? <laughs> she goes, oh. <laughs> on that note, I'll leave this here. We'll see you online.